Hello and welcome back. Today I wanted to show you this uh, Lego creation, what is commonly called a subtractor or uh, adder subtractor. In German it's called Überlagerungsgetriebe, which could be translated as overlaying gearbox or as superpositioning gearbox. It has two inputs and two outputs and if I move one of the inputs we see that the outputs move in the same direction and if I use the other input then the two outputs are contra-rotating. So if we take a look at what's underneath we see that at the heart we have two differentials and that gives its other name. Uh, sometimes this is called a dual differential drive or double differential drive. The outputs of the differential on either side that would normally if you have an individual differential drive the wheels of your uh, truck for example or your car they are actually coupled so uh, this output uses one two three gears whereas on this side we have just one two gears so an even number here and an odd number there and that's the crucial bit uh, also the transmission ratio is one to one here and one to one there, which means that uh, if I move these, they are just contra rotating, and in this instance, they are moving at constant speeds in the same direction. Now, why would you want to have such a gearbox? Um, if you're uh, designing uh, like a radio control bulldozer, you might prefer to have one electric motor per track, and that's perfectly fine, but if you have a full-size bulldozer and you have a diesel engine, uh, then having two diesel engines is probably not a good idea. And with this design, you can have the diesel engine putting the power in on this input. And then the diesel engine, for example, is also powering a small hydraulic circuit. And you use a small hydraulic uh, pump and motor to uh, create this contra-rotating movement. And what you can do is that you combine those two inputs, so you overlay their effect. So what happens if we overlay the effect of moving in the same direction and uh, moving in opposite directions? We would expect that one side moves uh, twice as fast as before and the other stands still because the two uh, inputs get added up or uh, overlaid. So let's test our hypothesis. So I have just coupled those two inputs and indeed that's what we see. So our theory is proven. Okay, so what we just saw, where uh, one of the outputs was moving and the other was standstill, can use that, for example, in our bulldozer example, to go around a curve. Uh, that's also used in uh, tanks, where again we have one diesel or gas turbine uh, as the main input, and then a secondary, often hydraulic, could also be electric uh, circuit, is doing the steering. And when we add those two movements together, just as we've seen just now, um, then we can drive a circle of any radius. Now, as I said before, in the scale model world, we might prefer to just have two electric motors with two ESCs, electronic speed controllers, uh, driving the two tracks of our bulldozer. But what we can see, sometimes see that is due to friction in the tracks or uh, unevenly matched motors, one track will be moving slightly faster than the other. And of course you have your steering function and you can uh, correct that turning motion that you, that you don't want, but that can become a bit annoying. So if you have a overlaying gearbox such as this one, the two tracks will move at the same speed uh, up to the point where your second input also gets some movement. So for example, you can use a, a powerful uh, brushless motor, maybe even censored, to do the drive and a cheaper brushed motor uh, with the respective ESC to do the steering. And another advantage that you can do here is that uh, you can use a, a gearbox with different speeds. So uh, on the main input, so you could have uh, several forward and reverse gears in your uh, diesel engine for example. But you can also do something similar with your electric motor. So if you want to have a, a 
slow uh, movement with very high force um, as well as a faster traveling speed with less force. That is something that you can quite easily achieve with a gearbox such as this but that would be very difficult to achieve with two electric motors that drive the tracks directly. So differentials are quite interesting uh, gearboxes in themselves so if you combine two together such as here I think uh, they only become more interesting and I hope to build a radio control model that uses this uh, double differential drive uh, in some kind of bulldozer or earth mover application. So if you google some of the terms that I mentioned today um, subtractor, adder subtractor, um, a dual differential drive you will see a wide variety of different implementations. So for example I used uh, worm gears here and there which means whatever the input is cannot be back driven by the outputs. It's sometimes what you want but sometimes uh, you might uh, want to be able to back drive the input. So that's for example something that might be different. Uh, I have used traditional uh, Lego Technic pieces. So uh, with the newer pieces uh, you have some other uh, more compact uh, solutions that you could choose. Yeah, I think that's all I wanted to show you today. So uh, let's put the cover back on and uh, thank you very much. Until next time. Cheers.